Jason, hero of Greece, and his crew, the Argonauts. Of the Argonauts, we have Hercules. Uh, thesis. Nestor. Poeus. Wait, we don't have an Orpheus. He's up there. That can't be. That guy can't be Orpheus. Yes, he's Orpheus. Even though he doesn't have a heart, he fell into the sea and he magically grows another one when he meets Medea. Okay, they sail on the ship, the Argo, great ship. This is the story of Jason and Medea. On their way to Colchis, they came upon some rocks that would smash together if a boat were to go between them. So they sent a bird to see if it could go through. Yay, it made it through. Okay. So Jason and the Argonauts decide to try to make it through the rocks. I don't think we're going to make we're it. We're not going to make it! Oh. Woo! Woo! <laughs> 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 Yay, they made it. Okay, bye. The Argonauts made it to Caucasus to see King Aetes. Who goes there? Hello? It is I, Jason, and the Argonauts. What do you want? I would like a council. With? You. Okay. But only Jason may enter. There at the castle, Jason made a deal with King Aeti, e saying he wanted to go on the quest to get the Golden Fleece. Oh, so you want the Golden Fleece? Yes. First, you will have to yoke two fire-breathing bulls and use them to plow the field and sow some dragon's teeth. Once you do that, I will give you the Golden Fleece. No, there among them was Princess Medea, daughter of King Aetes and a sorcerer and a sorceress witch. While while they were there, Eros came in, who more commonly known as Cupid, and shot <laughs> shot. Medea and they and made her fall in love with deeply in love with Jason. Boom. <laughs> uh. I love Jason. Medea professed her love to Jason, and Jason promised to make her his wife. And they and Medea has will help her will help him on his quest for the Golden Fleece, and then after. Here's some ointment. Jason went out and went to yoke the bulls, the fire-breathing bulls, and he rubbed the ointment that Medea gave him onto him. <laughs> wow, it's not burning and that's amazing. <laughs> Okay, now yoke them bulls. He then wrestled the bulls. Ah. <coughs> and then got ready to yoke them. And Jason then plowed the fields and sowed the dragon's teeth. And many men appeared from the ground. Wow. <gasps> And then Jason threw a very large magical rock that Medea gave him. They are fighting each other.
Ja, ha, ha, ha. And so Jason completed this horrible task and he heads back to the king to get the gold fleece. What? They completed it? Well, he's not getting that golden fleece. So, go blow up the ship. Yes, sir! Jason! He's going to attack your ship because you completed the thingy because he doesn't want you to get the golden fleece! We won't let him have it. Okay! I will accompany you so we can get this! Because there's a magical dragon that never sleeps! And, yes, we will kill him! Or put him to sleep! And so they traveled to the place where the Golden Fleece was held, guarded by a never sleeping dragon. We're doing home Golden Fleece. This is the Golden Fleece. How are we going to put him to sleep? Orpheus, do your stuff! Orpheus then sang a beautiful song. Okay. He's asleep. Now go get that, that, that golden fleece, Jason. They're catching up to us. King. Medea then committed a dreadful sin. Sister? Sis? What are you doing? Ah! Ah! Medea killed her own brother. You messed him. My son! No! King Aetes was so heartbroken at the death of his son that he stopped following the Argonauts. On their way home, the Argonauts ran into a group of people on a bunch of rocks called the Sirens. They sang beautiful songs and enchanted the captain to jump off the end of the ship. Orpheus, then sang his most beautiful song ever in the world. 